Good morning, ladies, and welcome to this morning's message. When you hear the word standing naked before God, what are your immediate thoughts? Well, God knew us when we were conceived in our mother's womb, and so we were actually physically naked before Him. The Bible even says that we will go out of this world naked. So nakedness in this sense means that no matter how you want to cover yourself up, you will always be naked before God, because nothing can be hidden from Him as He looks beyond our physical bodies into our inner beings. Listen to what the psalmist says in Psalm 139 from the New King James Version. God's perfect knowledge of man. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. We cannot please God with our human bodies, as we all have sinful flesh, according to Galatians 5, verse 19 to 21, and an inherent nature to disobey and sin against God. We therefore need to confess our sins on a daily basis. So when God looks at us, He sees our emotions, our attitudes, our intentions. In other words, He looks into our souls. He does not see the fancy clothes or makeup that we have on. Neither is he impressed by the repetition of words in our prayers, as nothing we do can change his mind to love us more or less. He will still love you the same. Yet he is impressed by your obedience in keeping his commandments and showing others his unfailing love for mankind. He is also interested in the condition of your spiritual life as well as your soul, which is your mind, emotions and will. We as human beings still have the tendency like Adam and Eve, thinking that we could hide our sins from God by denying our wrongdoings or covering them up with some ridiculous story or defense just to find out at the end that God knew what we were going to do long before we have actually done it. That is where grace comes in, for if it was not for grace, we would never have had the opportunity to go to God and ask for forgiveness. This was all made possible by the price that was paid on the cross. So when you pray, you need not have a vain repetition of words describing and trying to explain yourself to God and even sometimes telling Him what to do. Just acknowledge, confess and repent of your sins and wrongdoings and He will forgive you instantaneously. 1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all. Psalm 103 verse 12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. I wish to encourage you to take off your masks today. When you come before God, and just stand naked before Him and be open and honest. He knows everything about you, your past, your present and your future. 
enjoy your liberty in and through Christ. Matthew 28 verse 20 says, I am with you. And these are the famous words of Jesus Christ before he ascended to heaven. Be assured that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is just a prayer away. Let us pray together. Dear Lord God, we come to you naked and just as we are and ask for forgiveness as we thought that we could hide from you like Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden. We entrust our lives into your hands today and thank you for your guidance and grace towards us. Amen. Have a wonderful, blessed day until we speak again.